Hello and welcome to Peeling Away the Clutter. Today I am building a tower to heaven. I'll let you know how it goes. No, I'm joking. Today we are working on maintenance because while my decluttering muscles have gotten to be all right, they're getting there, they're, they're growing. My maintenance muscles are another matter entirely. What I've learned is that if you have no maintenance muscles to speak of, things will pile up again. Go figure. <laughs> so we're back in the living room and I've got a whiteboard that I'm going to use to create a maintenance checklist. So I'll work on that along the way as well. I have got a lot of things here several boxes one was for colt's crate and i decided that's the thing with me when i get stuff like that that i'm not sure i will keep i keep the box around and then when i decide to keep it it's still just lying around <laughs> so i found boxes i have found mail of course to be honest i am setting the mail aside as a problem for future me. Future me is not going to like that. <laughs> but this has been a really low energy week for me for some reason. I am not sure why. I don't know if it's because I have done a lot in the scrapbook room over the past month and a half. I don't know if something else is going on as well, but I have switched the angle because the previous one wasn't awkward enough. <laughs> but now that I've sat down, you should be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a box full of dog items that was in the scrapbook room. And Bonnie pulled it out when she was going through stuff. And I said, that's a task for future me. <laughs> and as far as this box goes, I am future me and I'm dealing with it. I don't think I have seen this box of stuff since I moved. So I decided to let go of whatever sprays were in there, whether they're cleaners or what have you. If I haven't seen them in seven years, let's just let them go. I am letting go of some other stuff in here, like random boxes of medication that <laughs> has already been taken long ago. I've got some Kongs, some old toothpaste, but do you really want toothpaste from seven years ago? I don't know. I, I probably don't. So, yeah. And look who's here. <laughs> Colt is very interested in what I'm doing up here on top of his crate. So, he took a little dispenser of poop bags. And why not? Why not? There were also a couple of rawhides in there. And I stopped using rawhides like 10 years ago at least. So I don't know what they were doing there, but <laughs> I tossed those as well. We don't need raw hides here because they are not really digestible. I'm getting rid of that blue blanket because, whoo, child, the smell <laughs> it was bad. And I didn't even want to take the effort to clean it. So I'm just tossing that in the garbage, coming across papers and trying to figure out what do I do with these. So what do I do? I set them down. <laughs> Not ideal, but I do have a box full of papers that I need to go through. And so I'm just gonna go through everything all at once. And look who's back. Oh, <laughs> this little cutie. He is wanting that toy right there that I just put in the basket. But here's the thing. He just doesn't really love soft toys. He likes to carry them off if he thinks he's not supposed to have them. 
<laughs> oh, goodness. All right. And I am starting to make piles of clothes. I brought out some clothes after I was doing some sorting and I thought, well, I'll just do it out here and we see how that turned out. <laughs> that mint colored little basket is for items that I am taking back to where they belong. And in some cases they have a place to go and in others they're just going to go in the room where they belong and I'll figure out exactly where it's going to go later. Poor Colt though. He has loved those little blue bags full of clothes and he has <laughs> enjoyed making a nest in there. These are the clothes that Bonnie laundered for me. Thank you again, Bonnie. I appreciate it so much. I've got a little more work to do before I get there. I have got a bunch of trash that's at my feet and yeah, you can't really see it, but anyway, there's also some clothing that was on the floor and I am just starting a pile of stuff that I need to wash. Now it's time to go through these bags and this one had a lot of stuff that I am going to just donate. So yay on that. And I'm setting up a pile for donation as well. So I've got the three piles, the laundry, the donation, and the relocation. <laughs> I am not sure I'm going to be bringing out projects to do, which is what I was starting or hoping to do with the clothes, but I think that that may not work for me. All right, I have decided that I like these bags okay when it comes to clothes. They are great for clothes, I'll say that, but trying to put just random stuff in them doesn't really work out because the bags don't have much of a shape. There just is space and it moves based on what is in the bag. As long as I use it for clothing, I should be fine with those bags. I'm going to admit I was really wishing that I was done with this, but the only way out was through and I just kept going. I also gave myself permission to save stuff for later. And that's what I was doing with papers. I thought, you know, I'm coming across papers. I know I brought out a box of papers from my bedroom a ways back. And that is next to the cart on the other side. The papers need to be done at some point, but they don't have to be done today. Here I came across some books that I was going to read on my reading channel before I found out that, <laughs> that you know, you can't read the books that are still in copyright. That's another problem for future me. Does anyone know what this is? <laughs> I've come across it a couple of times and I don't know what it is. So if you know, please tell me so I know if I need it or not. <laughs> oh gosh. There is another bag for my bag of bags. <laughs> Which is another box that Bonnie pulled out from my scrapbook room and I decided I would do it later so I could just refocus on all things scrapbooking. I I had my priorities. Future me is going to decide when I am up to <laughs> going through the bag of bags. <sighs> we have kind of skipped spring and are into summer. <laughs> At least that's how it feels where I am. How are things where you are and what projects are you going to be working on? Do you have any summer, any late spring summer projects coming up. I would love to hear about those. 
my city is doing signups for a free dumpster for a few days and fingers crossed i'm hoping that i am able to snag one if i am you'll be able to see the mess that is my patio and if not well that will <laughs> be a project for another future me here is a figurine that i found and was going to put on my decor shelf but i don't think it will go with dr strange so i'm going to rotate it out at some point and look more paper <laughs> more paper to go through so yeah that's gonna be added to the pile of paper Someday, someday I will no longer have boxes of paper, bags of paper, etc. But that day is not today. I wonder how Colt is going to do without piles of clothes over here. So he's pretty much had these since he arrived. If that tells you anything. Yikes. But that's why I'm using my whiteboard so I can plan on how to do this. I figure I'll just do, I'll make sure that all of the things get done at least once a week. And that should keep me on track. I may need a different kind of maintenance when I'm depressed. I'm just not sure. But we're going to push forward and come up with my list and see what we can do. This area wasn't as densely packed as it has been in times past. It didn't take nearly as long as it did to clean the first time around, but still I would love to stop it before it gets to this point again. I've come to accept that really I'm just a little bit cluttery and my house is gonna look lived in and probably more lived in than other people <laughs> the goal is how to manage it and i definitely need to do something to manage it and i left this part in <laughs> thought it was pretty cute of clay to come check things out <laughs> All right, so I am bagging up the clothes so I can take them to donation. Ain't nobody got time to go through these clothes again. So I need to get them out the door. Progress doesn't have to be made in miles. It can be made inches at a time and a little at a time. I'm trying to remember that. I was feeling pretty good about everything that I had done and things that <laughs> I'm sorry I just love seeing those little heads bobbing <laughs> bobbing in the bottom there my cart is still a little bit of a mess I am basically going through it to look for obvious garbage I am going to do the rest of the cart later because, yeah, again, this has not been a high energy week. I think it's important in those times and in those moments to give ourselves grace. Say, you know what, you may not have been able to get to the cart and you're not going to do everything that is in this clear bin right now. But you're doing good in what you've done so far. You're on track to reclaim your furniture. So they're not just flat surfaces that are perfect for 90 million piles. <laughs> and here I was kind of short circuiting. <laughs> but you know what? That's part of the process too. Sometimes you're just like that. That's why I kept that footage in because I wanted to show that there are moments where we all kind of get stuck and <laughs> don't know where we want to go next or if we have the energy to go on to the next step. 
in my case, it definitely helped that I have a channel and it's much nicer if I'm able to do a before and after. It's not going to be a full before and after of the entire room, but it is a pretty big section of the room and I'm okay with that. I'm all right. My channel isn't called Destroying the Clutter in 10 Minutes or Less. I'm peeling it away and some sections are going to need to be done more than once. As many of you have pointed out, clearing clutter is an ongoing thing and, and maintaining clean spaces is harder for some than it is for others. We need to recognize that it may not be easy but it's definitely a worthwhile thing to strive for and to continue to strive for. And that's why I'm doing this. I have had a fair amount of shame about this room from the beginning. And the shame crept up again. I think shame and depression are really good friends. For me, they can come together and I know that shame can definitely increase my negative feelings about myself. So I'm going to let that go. Instead of getting lost to it, I want to ask myself, why am I feeling shame and what can I do about it? For me, the answer is use it to spark action and that's what I've done here. I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be perfect so I might as well just pick myself up, say what can I do today and then go forward with that. Let's get these clothes out of here and pick up some of the things that have fallen down. Let's move the things that need to be relocated and then we will finish this. I'm trying to figure out where to put the crate because it's big and <laughs> but the middle of the room is not the place for it. <laughs> All right let's do some more sweeping and let's do some mopping. That's what I'm talking about. We're getting a shark bed in here. I am hoping that might help Colt until he gets used to <laughs> an empty love seat. There are a couple of other beds that are on the floor in this room. So we'll see how this goes. It's always good to get to the mopping part. That definitely feels good. So now it's time to get to it. And of course you can barely see me doing it. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. <laughs> I am clearly struggling here, folks. <laughs> oh, oh dear. But we're almost finished. Almost there. <laughs> All right. A little bit more to do. Had to move the ottoman because of course there is junk under here. Along with a couple of dog toys that Colt was excited to see. And I haven't forgotten about you. Those of you who want to see a water bottle in every video. Fear not. There are two water bottles forthcoming. <laughs> they are a bit further under this <laughs> ottoman. So I grab those, tossing them over into the recycling bag that's just out of view there. And uh, yeah, still more sweeping. But it is getting done, slowly but surely. I've got a bit of a mess over here, but that will wait for another day. 
it's definitely easy to let myself be distracted and think, oh, that definitely needs to be done. Let's do something about it. But I have a goal, a very specific goal, and I want to meet that goal. So that's where I am focusing my energy. I am checking to see if there are things, more things on the cart that can just go right in the trash. For those who don't know, I have this cart in my living room because I wanted a little space that I could clutter up. <laughs> uh, I just felt like I needed something. I don't know. Well, I don't think it's working. I'll be honest. But we'll get to that in the next one. I think I need a different kind of solution because there's no simple place to put the cart because there are a few places where I could put it that would be more aesthetically pleasing, but the point of the cart is to have it nearby. That's something else I will have to think on, but again, it's a problem for future me. Right now, I'm just cleaning this space the best way I can. And I've finished that round of sweeping, so it's time for more mopping. And my shirt looks kind of dusty, or like it's got hair on it. That could be. But that just adds to the whole awkward angles, don't you think? We're getting to the end. Yay! So let's go ahead and add some things to this list. I need to relocate. I need to have items to relocate. Well, it's not that I need to have them, but I need to relocate them. There's trash, of course. Water bottles, of course. So this is what I have on my list so far. And I think it's a pretty good list. But I may add to it. Now that we have done that, let's go ahead and get to the results. Here's my Tower to Heaven, which was a big tower of shame. <laughs> but now it's gone. I will have to figure out a different way to heaven, but I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I do have some additional work to do. I have some hot spots that need to be cleared, but we will get to that. I have that piece of tape that needs to be removed because it fell down after holding up the doggy door. I had two bags of trash and then I had a bunch of boxes. Whew! Glad to have the boxes out because there were just so many of them. <sighs> I also took out a box and a bag to go to donation and that's pretty cool too next time i'm not sure if i'll be back in the scrapbook room or back in the living room on those hot spots but i will see you then